Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Hellfire Comms live stream for more of Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Storm 2. Or should I say Sasuke Shippuden, because today we're finishing up all of Sasuke's story, at least until the bonus episode that, you know, unlocks at the end that I've talked about a few times. But anyway, let's go ahead and get moving. It'd honestly be kind of hilarious if you just booted up the game and the logo was different. I'm sure there's a mod for that that someone has made. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I gotta say, it's crazy that Sasuke didn't come back with tan lines, despite how deep the V on his, uh, like, dress thing is. And his, uh, kind of pale skin, in all honesty, to go with it. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Shout out to the same shopkeeper being in the woods for Sasuke's part as it was for Naruto's. He's making a living. He sure is. This is also the same forest that uh, I think Naruto and the gang ran into Itachi. I think so, yeah. Uh, w when they were on the way to rescue Gara, because it's, it's the same direction. <laughs> Again, that forest that we started in, that's like 10 feet outside of the leaf village. <laughs> mm-hmm. The ninja world is actually incredibly small. In this game, it sure is. There's quite a bit more to it in Storm 3, necessitated by that part of the story going to more places, but yeah. How do you feel about Toby? I sure feel. I sure, <laughs> I sure don't like Toby at all. Mm -hmm. The the reveal of who Toby actually is, I think, is fine. I think that villain is fine. The entire Toby persona, I think, is just obnoxious and really shouldn't have been there. Well, that's fair. The shotgun, eh? He really is Itachi's little brother. You were only able to kill Orochimaru because of that. As soon as we get into the pre-battle thing, I'm gonna have to tab out and turn my volume up because I cannot hear the game. You're just oh. With good genes. Unless, of course, it's just the Diderot's voice lines are incredibly quiet. No, I turned the volume down so that it wouldn't be too loud for me and I'd be able to hear Mom if she calls, but I think I did too much. Ah. Uh. Yeah. But I don't feel like restarting the stream, so I'm just going to tab out when it gets to a point where it's paused. <laughs> That's how you know we're high quality. Exactly. Honestly, if I had a dollar for every time I tuned into a streamer at the start of a stream and there were technical difficulties that needed sorted, I'd have so many dollars. Yeah, it's just kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. Sure. If you I, I think back to the birthday stream I did last year where I did the Thousand Year Door randomizer, and oh boy, it was nothing but technical issues from like minute one until the end, and the ending was just kind of sad. Uh, hey Sasuke, you hungry? I've got 77 bentos here for you. That's like at least three bentos. It sure is. I'm still not able to use enhanced jutsu. Okay, need to remember how to play this game. I have been playing, uh, actually not very much since the last stream. I did, uh, I recorded a new quick look for the Patreon Platinum Rank exclusive stuff, so feel free to check that out. Hashtag shameless plug. Uh, and I also started replaying Dragon Ball Fusions for the first time in a long time, because I'm just kind of in a Dragon Ball mood, which is pretty understandable, all things considered. Yeah. Uh, I've just been absolutely diving into Tekken. And I maintain that I will play as Lars in this game later. <laughs> oh yeah. Daedara is really annoying. I think I mentioned before, he's like one of the most broken characters because he's he focuses a lot on range and everything. Mm -hmm. His uh, tilt attack is one of the best in the whole game. Uh, much like Itachi, actually. I think I think that's his grab, actually. His grab has a big range to it, but the trade-off is it's a bit slower. Yeah, the uh, distance and speed of his projectiles seem really good. Right, I can't do double chakra then dash. That's not how it works. Oh, nice. Uh, that worked out in my favor. 
Oh my god, that killed him. Yes, that's about how much it does. That's almost exactly the amount of health it does. I sure wish we kept the health bars from Storm 1 because every character has three health bars. And even though I think it ends up being the same amount of health, it just looks nicer. Hmm. Jesus, we're doing that again. Okay. <laughs> You're a real every kill is worth 1,000 points instead of 100 points kind of guy, huh? Yeah, sort of. There. This fight is unfortunately not represented well in this game. This is actually one of the coolest fights that Sasuke gets, and it really brings back the technical thinking of how different elements and different jutsu interact mm. because Sasuke's lightning can actually disarm Deidara's bombs because they're earth element and therefore weak to lightning. Oh, huh. And none of that is represented in this game because we get a normal fight and then a pretty sad excuse for a mini boss that we're about to get into. Okay. Stand back, Toby. And it just... I really wish we got a proper fight for this one. In all fairness, the boss fight that Sasuke gets at the end of this section is probably the best fight in the whole game. Oh, wow, okay. But I, I, I wish this one had been given the proper boss fight treatment instead. Well, not instead, but in addition to that. Oh, Sasuke, if you knew who the guy in the mask was you would probably try to kill him, in all honesty. <laughs> Which is completely different from what he's doing right now. <laughs> I mean, he would be trying to kill him for different reasons. He would also be failing just as badly as he is right now. Yeah, for sure. We'll learn more about that. Uh, actually, not until Storm 4 we don't actually figure out who who's behind Toby's mask. Wow. Okay, so we'll figure out something about what's behind his mask at the end of this section, but it's all lies. I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and tell you that now. <laughs> this man lies. <laughs> I really love... Wait, is this just going to be a repeat of his boss fight when you were Gara? Uh, sort of. It Except without the... Oh, I should heal too. Uh, except without the... Part of it being a boss fight, there's no QTEs. It's oh. it's just it's just data in awakening mode. It's just his big bird. Yep. And he's also very very non-aggressive, which is incredibly annoying. Mhm. Mm but when he does attack, he covers a wide range and does a lot of damage because he's in awakening mode. Yes. And he also doesn't flinch. Although he will just kind of sit there and let you hit him for a while. Because he's nice like that. Yeah, this is looking pretty uh, doable, I'd say. Oh yeah, it's it's a pretty easy fight. It's just really lame compared to what it should be. Mm -hmm. Oh god, he drifted lazily to the left. <laughs> Th this is what he does. He just kind of flies around and and sh shoots projectiles so every so often. And uh, what I like to do... Oops, he hit me. He actually hit me for once. What I like to do for this one is actually get Sasuke into awakening mode because he can still actually access the curse mark. And so he goes into the curse mark form, uh, which matches how he wins this fight in canon. Oh. The problem is being aggressive enough to make the fight interesting, but taking enough damage to get into awakening mode is a bit of a pain. Mm, no, that's a different guy. <laughs> uh, thank you, Nat, for 79 months of resub. Always insane how big some of our resub numbers are. She asks, why are we fighting a Pokemon? Um, this is actually a giant bomb, believe it or not. This, this thing is actually just one of Datara's bombs that can and will explode. It's just another Pelipper that knows explosion, yeah. Yeah, anyway, fight's over. It was very, very dull, very boring. Don't like mm -hmm. the fight.
Yeah, that felt like a B-Ring. We got card number 73 for getting 730,000 points. I wonder if they planned that. I haven't been paying attention to the numbers to notice if any of the previous cards have been matching up like that. Yeah, I don't know. That'd be quite the coincidence, though. <laughs> to this guy? Answer me. Where is Itachi? The funny part is Datara doesn't actually know anything about where Itachi is. <laughs> You're at your limit, too. So in the original fight, in, in the canon fight, I'm going mm -hmm. to win this Datara has like a, a minefield where any place that you can step on like a mile wide field is a bomb. And so what Sasuke does is he sticks his sword into the ground and channels chakra through it while standing on the tip. Mm -hmm. And it shorts out all of the bombs, and it's one of the coolest things in the whole series. I'm about to crush you with Wild. Heart, you hear? Yeah, again, it just we don't get the cool things for this one fight. A lot of the other fights get more cool things than what they actually had, like <laughs> Gara summoning the giant head of Shukaku to fire a giant fucking sand laser. Came out mm -hmm. of fucking nowhere. How many times can I say fucking? <laughs> That's what annoys me about Okay, your mouth suddenly started moving. That's so cool. A little bit disconcerting. Oh that that delivery did not match that text <laughs> or his face. Always judging me and my Yeah, some of the dub is I mean the Naruto dub is pretty infamous. For the most part it's fine. Especially in the games, I would say. Some of them the deliveries are a bit off. I'll give them that. This delivery would be perfectly fine if it was punctuated differently. Mm hmm. I couldn't possibly. There's also no music here, which is like apparently a thing that is more common in Japan. It adds more weight and drama to the scenes that are happening. But here in the West, we prefer having music for our scenes, which is a big reason why KH2 doesn't have music in a lot of its scenes. They, mm. they, they feel like it adds more drama to whatever's happening, and we here in the West feel differently. Yeah. I had to lean forward to read the bright red name. Hey, Saiyan Blitz, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I love that even on the run, Data has always been able to get black nail polish. Yeah, of course. I wonder if he can make it himself. I mean, he does have, like, Earth Jutsu. The scratches on his hair aren't moving along with his hair. Oh, you're right, it's texture. <laughs> oh, that looks weird. It sure did. I can't advance these text lines when the button on the corner is grayed out like that. The, the game is advancing it on its own, and it's not something I can choose when to advance. So sometimes it has to wait for the mouth movements to end, even though the line is done. Data go boom. Well, that seemed unnecessary. No, this is Patrick. Oh my god. <laughs> Think Kishimoto was watching SpongeBob when he wrote this part? Somehow I doubt it. <laughs> What's wrong? I just kind of doubt that he had the time. Fair, actually. What do you mean? What's wrong? Today is the day you promised to check my shuriken jutsu, isn't it? Sorry, I have an important mission tomorrow. I have to study, so. Oh, you're a liar. <sighs> hey, they spelled Sai correctly this time. Sorry, Sasuke. Another time. Sasuke. Sasuke. <sighs> well, hey, Suigetsu, where were you when we needed help? Uh, right here, actually. Looks and like and the like other two. You no, 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 they arrived just in time. <laughs> They're fine. That was freaky. We came running to the side of the explosion, and then we... Now, in the midst of all of this happening, as Sasuke and his team are chasing Itachi, Naruto and some of the other Leaf Ninja are also running around looking for Itachi for, because they're trying to find... Well, actually, I think they were chasing Sasuke. But they end up running into Itachi. 
But because they don't feel like switching back and forth between perspectives, that bit of Naruto running into Itachi is actually explained in a flashback in Storm 3. Mm -hmm. We're just getting a whole solo adventure with Sasuke right now. Yes, which is the best way to do it. I, I very much appreciate putting this all in one story rather than breaking it up, because that works great in manga and anime, switching perspectives and stuff. In a game, I very much appreciate just putting it all in one story together and then switching back to Naruto when we're done. Mm. As, as mentioned previously, I don't want Dream Drop Distance Naruto style. I personally would prefer hot swapping like that. I'd like to see narratives that are moving in tandem actually portrayed that way. Fair enough. Wait, was he one of the Akatsuki? Yeah. He yeah, so Dater is just actually dead him. now. He, he, he literally blew himself up and he is just gone. Absolutely wild. Mm -hmm. I can't believe you're the one who actually took down Orochimaru. He got one bad AO3 comment and just deleted his entire account. <laughs> Gets criticized once, fucking dies. Huh. Whatever, you still need to take a little break. So, Sasuke What's could completely wrong? heal himself just by biting Karin, in case you don't remember that. She just has healing powers that work that way. I had yep. a rather unpleasant dream. A dream? It's nothing. I, I still, there are just so many situations in which you could find out that that happens that are like normal through childhood and adolescence, but get weirder the longer you grow. Mm. Like, the longer it takes to find out, I mean. <laughs> yeah. Deidara's dead. That's another member we've lost. And I always thought he was one of the stronger ones. Really? If there's a power ranking of the Akatsuki, I'd say Deidara's pretty smack dab in the middle. But compared to, like, comparatively to Ninja Standards in general, he was pretty up there, though. I mean, they're all s rank. Like, mm -hmm. they're, they're all, I would say, probably stronger than Jiraiya, in all honesty. Damn, even Daedara? Quite possibly. Okay. I feel like it's just that Jiraiya has utility that no-sells uh, Daedara. I guess in a lot of situations, it's just that they're kind of jutsus that hard counter certain other people, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Yeah, like... Daedara versus Jiraiya would be a really tough fight on both sides, actually. Someone's losing a frog. Yeah, for sure. Like, if Daedara pulls out the giant bomb that he was going to drop on the Sand Village, Jiraiya's done for. Ain't nothing he can do about that. Other than summon a giant frog to eat it and die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you gotta sacrifice something. Oh yeah, they also think Toby's dead. Yeah. I'd like to think that the giant frog could just, like, comically cut the thing in half and then make it inert somehow. <laughs> just like Tom and Jerry style. Yeah. Or just, like, pour some water on it and it's a dud now. Yeah. Yeah, actually, legitimately, water summoning jutsu would help dampen the explosion a lot. Potentially, yeah. Jiraiya going into Sage Mode clears Daedara, but that's something that he would be very reluctant to pull out in most cases. Mm hmm. I cut that line too early. Oh well. Sorry. Sorry, uh, Kisame. <laughs> no, that was just in character. That was just Itachi ignoring him. <laughs> Oh, right, that was just a whole chapter. Uh, that was just that. All right. Mm -hmm. We're not quite done with Sasuke, though. Like I said, we uh, got a little bit more to go. We're back in the same field, and Sasuke has changed clothes. You sure you're all right, Sasuke? This is after Sasuke has spent some time healing from his last battle. I'm fine. I've been healing a lot faster since I absorbed Orochimaru's it, He basically gets a Zenkai boost Saiyan style from recovering because of having Orochimaru's power in him. So this is the power That's of wild. Snake, huh? so no wonder it doesn't matter how many times you kill that guy. 
Did you find anything during He's like into it at this point. Yeah, he kind of is. We were able to track down some general intel on the Akatsuki. Honestly, retroactively, it's kind of insane that he was like Oh my god, my arms are in such tremendous pain. This body fucking sucks. Uh, and like the. He was just so stuck on getting to Sasuke that he didn't consider even a single other solution that we now know he had at hand. Well, he wanted to change over to Sasuke's body as soon as possible. And he was forced to take another option. The fact that his arms were taken away really amounted to basically nothing. Mm hmm. Hmm. Huh. So... Rip Bozo. <laughs> Rip Bozo. <laughs> Jugo, show us the way right now. Cough and dance. MP4. Jugo can just talk to animals. Really That's just a that. thing he can do. Oh, sick. The whole nature sage chakra thing kind of helps him with that. Itachi, no matter where you are. I can't believe his underlayer is like an even deeper V. <laughs> Actually, I'm surprised that they modeled this. Where does he get the Uchiha brand clothes, anyway? I think he sews those on himself. So he Either that, or he's going to, like, that one cat grandma in that one filler that she probably has some left over. To the north of here. Mm hmm Apparently, he was spotted up that way. Good. Orochimaru going to find Tsunade didn't amount to very much, either. It was more just... The fact that Orochimaru's arms were taken away meant nothing because he just changed to a different body and recovered from that. Mostly it just meant that Orochimaru didn't kill the rest of the Leaf Village. Yeah, that was kind of just... Just, he he, he left. That was all. I Can I go? Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. Sasuke doesn't want to go to the village yet. What village? We're so far away from the village. Spranda, what are you talking about? <laughs> And the sand village is just up there to the north. Great. You can tell because of the cactus. <laughs> I guess that's what that is, yeah. I would have thought it was just a tree branch. If you find him, you're not to Might be. Him under any circumstance. It's very green. Yeah. I mean, I, I could see it as being a cactus, for sure. And, uh, we all know nothing is green in the forest. <laughs> I'm going to very specifically go talk to Kari. Okay. Cool. Don't get captured by the Sand Village. That would probably be awful. What a weird hypothetical. <laughs> Again, Spar, we're nowhere near the Sand Village. This is a completely different location. Well... It sure didn't take long to find the same forest that we've found 300 other times. It's been a long time. Who... Who are you? It's me. Huh? It also didn't take a long time to find Itachi. Sasuke. What do you mean, who are you? I think that was a very bad mistranslation. I think that was meant to be who's there. <laughs> mm. changed at all your eyes are still cold keep in mind itachi is very sick and basically blind at this point he's like 90 percent blind from whatever illness he has mm -hmm. is going blind also a symptom of overusing your sharingan or is that fanon it is a symptom of overusing the Mangekyo Sharingan, specifically stuff like Amaterasu and stuff like that. That's why later on when we see Sasuke using those skills, his eyes will bleed. And the only way to get around that is to live with it, I guess, or transplant another Sharingan into your own eyes, because that's a thing that can be done in this world. God damn. <laughs> and Itachi refuses to do that because he doesn't want to take Sasuke's eyes. Mm hmm. Shout out to uh, Naruto The Broken Bond, the game on the Xbox 360, that makes you, as the player, have to live through the sequence in Sasuke's flashbacks. 
actually very cool and also horrifying. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I really wish that I could show those games to you, but one, I don't have a working 360, and two, they have direct from anime cutscenes, and so you cannot post gameplay of them on YouTube if you include those cutscenes. Mm -hmm. Because the videos get blocked. Oh no, he took the bottom of his mouth! <laughs> the events of that night. The younger version of me could only comprehend them as a mirage at first. I desperately wanted to believe I was trapped in a horrible genjutsu. Yeah, imagine being... How old was Sasuke when this happened? Like, six? And everyone you know, your entire family down to the furthest cousins is completely wiped out by your own brother. Yeah, legit. Five or six. <laughs> he was like in, he was literally in the academy when it happened. Mm -hmm. There was no mistake. I was trapped in reality. I'm not the boy I was back then. Now I have the strength to obliterate you. <laughs> what impressive confidence. Are you ready for a boss fight? Right now. Uh, yeah. Well, that's too bad, because this isn't one. Uh, oh. <laughs> I was like, is he baiting me? I sure was. This is not the boss fight. This is just a normal fight to lead up to it. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, I can't use anything in this fight. No, Sasuke's been fighting alone for a while now. And that sounds like a metaphor, but it's not. I can't use Enhanced Ninjutsu, I can't use Ultimates, I can't use Awakening Mode. Oh right, because his Awakening Mode is uh, is different now, I think. Or he doesn't, he's not using the, the Curse Seal, something like mm -hmm. that. He literally took off the Jack and got ten times stronger. It's just like a Yakuza game. He sure is guarding against my dashes quite a lot. Well, he can't even fucking see you, so like it makes sense that his defense is the only thing that's up, you know? Mm-hmm. Itachi's dash move is that one where he, uh, the tilt move, rather, is the one where he turns into crows and crosses the field, and it has priority on basically anything that I can do. If I touch him at all, I get hit. We love active hitboxes in this game. He tried to do it right there, but I guess it has a little bit of startup time that I knocked him out of. Gonna have to run this one back in training mode for sure. <laughs> oh right, Sasuke in this form has a different ultimate jutsu, that's why his ultimate is locked off. Oh, he did bigger fireball. That makes sense, he is the bigger brother. <laughs> Oh, you didn't see that one coming, did you? No, I'm blind! <laughs> <laughs> Awful. I love the idea of being that petty and just being like, actually, my jutsu is biggest fireball. <laughs> yeah, that was B-Rank. I sure wasn't. <laughs> I feel like you should get that title for winning at full health, not for just getting a certain amount of points. I don't know, I'd be popping off if I beat Itachi in combat too. Yeah, well, here's the thing. You've gotten stronger. <laughs> Twas but a ruse. Oh my god. <laughs> Meet me at the Uchiha hideout. Alone. We'll settle How did you do that with your mouth? <laughs> Sasuke. Why do you guys never hear when it counts? You. Why are you here? Karin spoke of a massive clash of chakra. Yours and another heavy hitter's. We got worried and came to check on you. Sasuke, what on earth happened? 
Follow me. She's so concerned her mouth was moving even when she was finished talking. <laughs> the Uchiha hideout. The Uchiha hideout. I'll settle everything there. Why is it green? It's like there's only two or three times that they do that where a location is highlighted. <laughs> <laughs> I actually love it, because I was going to make the joke, it looks blue to me, personally, first off. Second off, I think it's incredibly funny that it's blue on blue, so that much like a ninja, the text is also hiding from you. <laughs> so, where are you going? This is a very short chapter. It's still highlighted, just on a sort of beige background this time. In case you forgot. That one's not highlighted, because it's not important as we get to. And the H wasn't capitalized when Sasuke said it when it was highlighted. Oh, good. <laughs> Boy, this man, just all over the place. Let me just buy some more of these. Sure. I mean, what are you even using the money for? Literally nothing. Uh, he doesn't have anything else to sell, because I, I haven't turned anything in to be able to get anything. One who turns in nothing can buy nothing. <laughs> Basically, yeah. But where on earth is the Uchiha hideout? See, that time it's capitalized and highlighted. Yeah, yeah. Remember how I said to remember this giant rock? Mm-hmm. Release. Here you go. Wow, that looks really similar to the seal that Orochimaru put up. It sure does. Didn't expect to find a passage here. You'd need Uchiha blood to find that one. Or just go around the rock. Yeah, but like, would you need it in your body or outside of your body? <laughs> just have a vial of blood. <laughs> yeah. Look out! Something's coming. Jugo, bro, do you ever like get like? those brambles in your feet or anything like that or does chakra just are you good chakra could probably prevent you from like having your feet punctured or whatever which probably why no one uses caltrops or anything like that mm -hmm. just chirp wires hey nathan thank you for 67 months of resubbing he says salutations from work having to deal with the decisions of incompetent co-workers yeah that sucks hope hope uh, hope you have a better day yeah, my deepest sympathies. <laughs> All right. Besides, we were only traveling as a cell in order to prevent interference. You three wait here. Sasuke really just kind of brought these three along he just to take out anyone that was following him, not because he needed them for really anything. Sharks. I guess Karin for healing and Jugo for searching. Sugetsu was just kind of muscle, I suppose. How do you know that? Yeah, Juko's just here. I'm the younger brother of Nangetsu Hozuki. Sugetsu Hozuki? Ah, you sure have grown, Sugetsu. Unlike someone else, Kisame can remember a name. Care to play around with me? And so, in order to lengthen this chapter so it's not just the one Itachi fight and then the boss fight. They throw this in, because we need something else to do. Mm-hmm. Oh, finally, you'll have assist. Surely. Yeah. I want this so bad I can taste it. Let's kick this off already, Master Kisame. I actually always really like that Sugetsu has his own, like, his own thing going on. Yeah, he's just like, he really wants to get all seven of the swords and never even gets remotely close to that. In fact, he loses the one that he does have. What the fuck, really? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Alright, I forgot Karin's assist is kind of bad. In uh, a very similar way, uh, again, it's just really nice how broad the world of Naruto ends up feeling, even if we don't get to explore very many facets of it, but, like, Sugetsu is, like, one of those peeks into, oh, like, yeah, like, a crazy rogue ninja's quest could be literally anything, you know? Yeah, the whole thing with the Seven Swordsmen of the Mist is actually pretty cool. I wish there was more of that, really. Mm -hmm. Really more of anything involving, like, the other villages. 
No. Thank you for wasting the chakra. I'm going to hit you out of that. A lot of the Philly that we got in OG Naruto was surprisingly cool, honestly. For reasons like that. Kisame really did not put up much of a fight. Sugetsu, are you drinking water? Are you staying hydrated? Oh yeah, hydration check, everyone that's watching. <laughs> Rest in peace, stay hydrated, bot. I think Twitch finally got rid of it. Oh. Yeah. Why? Hey! That's that's good timing for that one. I, I don't yeah. know why. You know, if you kept getting S ranks, then we would be off pace again. So really, when you got those B ranks, it was just to help us out. Yeah, for sure. Let's go with that. Than I expected. I'm going to take that broad sword of yours. Take my shark skin, eh? <laughs> Unfortunately, you Again, you didn't really put up much of a fight there, Kisame. What did you say? I haven't gotten serious. Of course, he's not allowed to get serious because oh, yeah. that would draw attention. You should do that then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I truly wish I could, So is he not allowed to like get allowed serious on orders from pain? Or from Itachi. Up top. That's right. You kids will have to be told something. Probably pain, judging by this line. What do you mean? I like how the sword just snaps into place as the model switches. Yep, I, I caught that. <laughs> I know we brought that up last time, but it's very funny. Mm-hmm. Just you. Bro, how are you here? <laughs> oh, you're right. Wait, this guy's new Chiha survivor. <laughs> Later. My name is Peddler Uchiha. The Uchiha hideout. Itachi is in there. Holy shit, this place is huge. It sure is. He must have just walked around the rock. Never mind, this guy is not new Chiha. <laughs> Itachi. Are you ready for a boss fight? I don't know if I am anymore. After the reveal with Peddler and Shiha, I'm kind of shook. Oh, that's okay. We have a somewhat lengthy cutscene first. Oh, okay, great. And then I, I can take the time. Yeah. Uh, I would love a four coma comic panel, by the way, of uh, Shark Man and Shark Guy. Uh, <laughs> I was going to do a Shark Boy and Lava Girl bit, but it just failed because it's one person. Uh, of him being like, orders from the top. And then it's like, oh, from Pain? No. Oh, from Obito? No. Oh, from uh, Kaguya? No. And then it just keeps going. <laughs> now that you said Shark Boy and Lava Girl, I have realized that there is a Lava Girl in this series because the Mizukage uses Lava Jutsu. Oh, you're... You're so right. There is a Shark Boy and Lava Girl in this series. <laughs> if you want to kill me, oh no! It took the bottom of his mouth again. <laughs> Bro is screaming. That really would be a nightmare, though. My name is Sasuke. I would hate to have that dream. Mm. There are plenty of things I hate. I, I feel like this one shot of Sasuke is like the most common panel in the entire series, right? It's either this or the swing set. Yeah, that and just uh, a sh any shot of Naruto eating at uh, Ichiraku. Uh, I feel like that's that's the stuff you see on merch. The top three, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. Sasuke at 12 years old, who, and his entire life's dream is to kill his brother and make babies. Mm-hmm. That's it. <laughs> that sounds like normal younger sibling thoughts. You're right, though. Actually, that's, that's not true at all. Those have <laughs> never been my thoughts. No. So, in Sasuke. the original series, they actually have... 
an entire fight play out between these two. Mm -hmm. And then it jumps to Zetsu watching from the outside and they're just standing there because they've been fighting each other with Genjutsu. You sound quite familiar. Yes. Oh my god, it's so cool. It's such a cool concept. Unfortunately, it doesn't really work in the game, so they don't show that. I feel like they literally could have done it just by having the, the models standing here and then just having a line where Zetsu says it, but... Yeah. There is a really cool thing about this fight, though. Mm-hmm. In that it is the only fight in this game that has secret actions. Oh. In Storm 3 and 4, there are certain actions that you can do that will initiate a small cutscene or event that plays out a small bit of the fight of how it is in canon. Like the fourth Hokage doing a chakra dash initiates a special attack in one of his fights in Storm 3. That's not a thing in this game. Aside from, very specifically, this fight, there are three special actions that can be done. Mm. And I will be trying to do all of them. Okay. I will also be trying very hard not to die, because I've already died twice during this run, and I'm kind of embarrassed about it. No matter how good you were, you couldn't have taken down the entire... Hey, it's fine. You know, sometimes you take your lumps, and you come back stronger. I wish it works that way. Tragic. <laughs> so you realized. Who was it? Who helped you? Madara Uchiha. Madara Uchiha. Imagine how wild that is. One of the founders That's of like Hidden Leaf Village. Abraham Lincoln helped me murder your clan. <laughs> That's how, great, that's how crazy that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like from beyond the fucking grave? How could he still be alive? Madara, he's alive. Whether you want to believe me or not is your choice. That's actually... Uh, I'm pretty sure that part's actually a lie. He's actually not alive at this point. No, I think he is alive. And I think Itachi would know. One of us lives depending on and awareness and we call it reality however he's still talking to a certain someone at this point in the story and i think itachi would also know that just because and i think that's literally why he says it to sasuke here what are you trying to say not that sasuke will understand a goddamn thing because frankly the readers of naruto aren't going to understand a goddamn thing about what itachi is saying for years so nope One who sees nothing can understand nothing. I don't think that's true. It's true. Yeah, I think that one's decidedly not true, actually. Yeah. But there's one thing that even my eyes see just fine. <laughs> and what do they see? What I'm seeing right now. This music actually feels really appropriately melancholy. Yeah, it's kind of understated and really sets the mood. Itachi is you, dead at my feet. I want so badly to feel bad for Itachi. Okay, full heal. Mm-hmm. And snack time. Just gotta take a bite out of Karen real quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, Karin is not here. We're still able, unable to use Ultimate Jutsu or Awakening because it's a boss fight. But we can finally use our Enhanced Ninjutsu. Let's get to it. That's a good shot right there. Might have Flame use that for the thumbnail. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Or that one. Oh wow, he actually tracked him with that. I really didn't think he would turn around. I for sure thought he was just going to be looking over there. Trapped in the Genjutsu, clearly. So he's got like multiple health bars because he's a boss, obviously, and I still have my normal too. Mm -hmm. If the first fireball doesn't work, throw a second one. 
That's right, a wise man once asked, but how you how will you deal with the second one? Alright. Okay, I'm gonna need you to do this. Yep, okay, so this is the first thing you can do. Oh sick. Yep. Okay, so that's the first one. The other two are kinda towards the end of the fight. Okay. But also, I'm entirely wrong. There is a secret action in the final boss, but I really don't understand the conditions for activating that one. It feels entirely random, so I don't know mm. if I'll be able to show that one off. Oh, okay. Phase transition time. He didn't get to finish saying Jutsu. <laughs> Damn, that was not a beam struggle, even a little bit. Nope. But black fire is better than regular fire. Mm -hmm. And now we see Sasuke do one of the coolest things that he has ever done with one of the coolest jutsu designs in the entire series. Wish it was used more. It's kind of unwieldy. Makes sense that he doesn't. This will be my last jutsu. Even Itachi's like, holy shit. That took a whole health bar. It sure did. Yeah, that is Sasuke's new ultimate, which is why we were not able to use it during the previous fights. Mm -hmm. Or I guess the previous fight, because we only had this one fight. You had imagined for me. Uh, with this ultimate up to this point. You really have gotten stronger. And now, from the coolest jutsu to the stupidest fucking bullshit that Kishimoto ever came up with in a jutsu. God damn, I hate Suzano. It's just the <laughs> dumbest thing. <laughs> it really is just solve all your problems, the jutsu. You don't like uh, the jutsu max? No, I really don't. <laughs> It surely doesn't help that this fight is very annoying. Mm. Oh my god. Yep. You've got to break his guard and then go up and attack him. Alright. I interrupted his attack by doing that. Imagine hitting someone with multiple Chidori and they just get back up. Couldn't be Sasuke. <laughs> Couldn't be. Nice. Got the interrupt again. Wait for the shield to go away. Move, move, move. Ah, I didn't move in time. I was stuck in that animation. Yeah, now you're gonna burn forever. For literally ever. That's actually how this thing works. Uh, that little jar that he has at the, the hilt of his sword is actually a very special item, which we will see the use of here shortly. Mm -hmm. The shield that he has is actually the... I think it's called the Reflecting Mirror or something like that. I want to say it's connected to the legend of the Yadakarasu, which is a name that you would recognize. It is. Yeah, I don't know enough about the original tale, I just know how it keeps showing up in other media, such as uh, the Amaterasu game. And Yu-Gi-Oh! And Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, this is where the fight gets a little bit tough. Uh, especially when Sasuke doesn't go in the right direction. So what's the other secret action? Are we gonna see it or no? Uh, we're gonna see it, we're not at it yet. Oh, okay, wow. Yep. A long ass fight. It sure is. <laughs> We're into the next QTE segment. Oh yeah, of course. You hadn't filled out the stars yet. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, buddy, there was surely an easier way to run away from that one. <laughs> He's a bit tired, though. He did use up a lot of chakra for Kirin. Speaking of... And, of course, Rochi Mario is not actually gone. He got absorbed, so he's still kind of there. Mm -hmm. So, this is reminiscent of the actual, you know, mythology of Japan. The warrior Suzano was actually the one that defeated Orochi, the eight-headed snake. Yeah. I really wish that the QTEs changed at this point to be controlling Itachi fighting Orochi Maru. Oh, that would have been way cooler. That would have been so sick. Sadly, it doesn't work that way. Also, Itachi is 100% blind now. Oh, God. Oh, bro. <laughs> Finally, it emerges. You couldn't synthesize yourself some clothes, buddy? No. Uh, Key can do that only in Dragon Ball. <laughs> Wow, I almost didn't get four for that one. <laughs> Got him. So... I don't know the name of the item, but this jar will permanently seal whatever is struck by the sword. So Orochimaru and his influence on Sasuke is gone now, completely. Alright. Second special action. Mm -hmm. If you attempt to attack, Sasuke is too tired to do anything other than use his sword at this point. Mm -hmm. All right. This is final special action. Desperate. Oh boy. Oh, that shading looked awful. No matter what. Oh my god, that was horrendous. <laughs> and that was it. That was that was all the special actions that this fight has. Cool. There's uh, there's actually nothing else that can be done. It's trying to jump or trying to attack does that. Sasuke can't even jump. There's no chakra left. He he does the animation, but there's no shuriken to throw either. He's he's done. Nothing that's left. So cool, like genuinely. Yes, and that's it. Very specifically, no side subtitles for that because we hear what he says later. Remember when I called Suzano the solve all your problems jutsu? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there's one problem it doesn't solve, and that is illness. Honestly, I guess there's no Itachi was fighting on borrowed time the whole way. Promise to teach me new shuriken jutsu. Sorry, Sasuke. Another time. Big brother, you're so far away. It's just the two of us. I'll always be with you, you know. <sighs> mm-hmm. And that's it. That's the end of Itachi. Yeah. A little smile. Which is w weird, because Sasuke shouldn't smile at this point, at least not in that way, because he doesn't know anything about why Itachi has done anything. As far as he knows, Itachi's dead, and he's still, like, an asshole. <laughs>
<laughs> Even if he has memories of what Itachi was like when they were younger, he shouldn't look at this and go, yeah, very happy time, happy, happy time. You can smile in relief when a harrowing experience is over, though. I suppose. Hey, that's an appropriate title for this point. Once again, you've just put us on pace. Yeah. All right. That one's a little bit early, I think. <laughs> I feel like that one's just completely out of place. Why is that in the same vein as the other two? Because Odd Beast is referring to Guy, who, as far as I know, doesn't have anything left in this game. Anyway, I treated your wound. the next 20 minutes or so are cutscenes, so strap in. <laughs> Holy moly. Alright, well, we can take this opportunity to talk about Itachi some, actually. Yeah, well, I mean, the cutscene's going to be doing that as well, but Itachi, Itachi is an extremely good. popular character and is probably one of my favorites in general and also one of the strongest people in the whole series. And he's a he's fucking idiot. <laughs> And I feel like a lot of that has to do with Kishimoto riding backwards. I am 100% sure that he did not have everything around the Uchiha and the Itachi planned out from the start. Oh no, god no. And unfortunately made it so that Itachi had to be the big villain who winds up trying to redeem himself and has this plan to do good all along. And it just, it falls apart when you think about it for about two seconds. Yes. When it's you take Itachi the whole Uchiha. picture into account, uh, it's mostly just another story of the incredibly deeply fucked up generational events that always take place in the leaf and like ninja society in general and the way that it tends to tear people apart over power. I suppose I should start by introducing myself. I feel so bad for Itachi and for the Uchihas in general. Because of the way that the culture had made Donzo like um, few, act the way that he does, in a way that is completely Donzo's fault, to be clear. But like, um, God, he Itachi is also just this incredibly indoctrinated like young person, you know. Mm -hmm. He was in his teens when he murdered mm -hmm. the clan. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. By the way, uh, th there was a trap that happened there that I Itachi had actually implanted a jutsu into Sasuke's Sharingan so that it, when, when his Sharingan saw a very specific thing, it would activate a Matsurasu in order to prevent Tobi slash Madara here from controlling Sasuke after Itachi was gone. Yeah, and that's also why I think that he had to have known that Madara is quote-unquote alive. Yeah. Leave it to Itachi to set a post-mortem trap. Yeah, I just find it really hard to put the blame squarely uh, upon any teenager's shoulders for some shit that insane. He was also like, as far as we know, just kind of given orders in order to take out the clan, in order to stop in order to keep me away from the entire clan from being wiped out in a war that would also probably destroy most of the village. Right. Which is not an excuse for anything, but like, I imagine he was trying to minimize loss of life. Yeah, it's literally like, uh... It's literally the Nuremberg defense in the first place. The I was just following the orders. Um... He took a situation into account and did what he thought was best. It wasn't great. There were a lot of other things that he could have done. I'm sure he's also very sad about it in hindsight. Yeah, for sure. But he committed hard. What are you saying? Is there a point to all this? Why would Itachi do such a thing? So yeah, Itachi had a lot of plans laid out that don't really make sense, and I think the biggest problem is the the thing that he says to Sasuke back in part one about Sasuke needing more hatred is kind of the biggest tell for Kishimoto not having everything planned out, because why would Itachi ever, ever, ever say that to Sasuke if he wants Sasuke to 
rebuild the Uchiha clan Uchiha. to their former glory and remove the Paul from their name. To protect mm -hmm. you. Like, even, even if Itachi is, is an undercover agent at this point, he's whispering. No one else can hear him. Why would he say that? I, I can also imagine that Itachi would find it easier to do what he needs to do if he creates... If he lets, you know, Sasuke have that emotional distance from him. I suppose, but what he ends up doing is causing Sasuke to focus entirely on him and ignore any kind of, you know, normal relationship or friendship or anything remotely healthy, <laughs> to be honest. Oh yeah, no, for sure. He, uh, he fucked up in so many ways, but you think you I can understand it, like, emotionally. I suppose. It's not like Itachi is, you know, emotionally healthy either, so I guess I'll give him that. Yeah. What do you know about Itachi? Itachi did mention it, did he not? He was not alone that night. <gasps> then you are... That's right. I... This man has been, piece by piece, taking out the Lee village for... Uchiha. Uh, pretty close to 17, 18 years at this point, I would say. Yeah. I know everything about Itachi. At least. I mean, if Madara is meant to be 100 years old, then certainly that long, I but thought, like I said, there's wished. a lot of lies going on. Mm -hmm. And what he risked to fight. I know all of it. Your duty is to hear about the truth and life of Itachi Uchiha. It's your obligation. And it's our obligation, too, because we have to sit through this. <laughs> nah, you can press start and skip cutscene right now. I sure could. He's tortured me for years. And it's a fact that he destroyed our clan. He destroyed the Uchiha. And if that were a mission he'd received from the Hidden Leaf Village? <laughs> That's just the beginning of the truth about Itachi. Uh, mission? You said? That's right. Itachi completed his assignment that night by slaughtering everyone. The assignment was actually to take out the entire clan, including Sasuke, but Itachi couldn't do it. I still don't understand. Mm hmm <laughs> All ears now, I see. Frankly, it's still insane that Itachi did even manage it. He, Itachi, just like in general, killing all of the Uchiha. In Insane achievement. Struggle. Yeah. I mean, like, not all of them were like high level ninja either. No, but like there were enough of them, you know? Mm hmm. Sacrificial pawn. I mean, uh, Madara here is saying he helped, so uh, certainly mm -hmm. two S rank Uchiha would have been strong enough to take out the clan, even if Itachi might not have been S-ranked by that point, I don't even know. Yeah. The Hidden Leaf Village. There's a lot of factors that help him, for sure. It being a threat from within the walls. Yeah, for sure. In particular, discrimination towards we'll actually find out a bit more about the circumstances that led to that in... Ultimate Ninja Storm Revolution, which is sort of a filler game that has some uh, new stories added to it to fill in some holes in the history. And it actually explains uh, some of the events that led to the Uchiha Massacre, including the friendship between Itachi and Shisui. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty cool story. I'm excited to get to that. I'm also excited to get to that because Star here has not seen the Mecha Naruto storyline before, so that's going to be absolutely fucking hilarious. I hope so. <laughs> Our clan held central power along with the other clans. But after we failed to take the seat of the first Hokage, the Uchiha gradually fell from power. I, the Uchiha leader, despaired at our Let's fall. see, do we choose last, the people I with red know. eyes that can create fire and lightning and all of these other disastrous things or the man who makes trees in the village hidden in the leaves uh, yeah. that's a tough question <laughs> yeah for sure i mean there wasn't a village at the time he was made the hokage at the time the village was created 
So, uh -huh. uh, the the village hidden in the leaves was actually the very first hidden village. It's what started the whole thing. So, uh, the the village system is only about a hundred years old, and there's no telling how long history has been going on up until that point. That's actually wild. What? Yeah. Uh, I found one fan fiction that actually goes into what the world would be like if the village system didn't exist, but events were still playing out in a similar fashion, like Naruto getting the Nine Tails and stuff like that. I didn't continue with it because uh, I didn't think a lot of the characters were done, you know, really that well. And the a lot of the story ended up being kind of too similar for not having the villages. Like, the fourth Okage is still doing a pretty similar thing, even though he's, you know, still alive at the time. Um... Obito is still planning to do his thing. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about spoilers for that kind of thing. Everyone knows. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 you're fine. <laughs> I think we talked about it literally last stream. Probably, yeah. That that one guy just to the left, it, two rows back, does not look happy to be here. Everyone else is like raring to go, and that one guy is like, I don't know about this. The hidden leaf village leaders caught wind of the plot and sent in a I like the guy dead center with like the kind of like t twisty ends trash bag handle looking guy. That, that that's hair. the one I'm talking about, yeah. Okay, that's the guy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, if everyone else is doing it, I guess. That spy was your uh, I guess I'll, I'll join the revolution to overthrow the village. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Garsh. Can I? Garsh? Yeah, he really turned into Goofy by the end there. It's hard to imagine what Itachi felt as he chose between them. He ultimately chose the Hidden Leaf Village. So why... Why would Itachi betray the Uchiha? Because the Uchiha were assholes. The Third Great Ninja War. They, they ran the village police force. The peace and stability of the village first. Yeah. That was the concession that they were given for, like, being uh, stuck off in a corner of the village away from all the other clans. Mm -hmm. Aside from being one of the biggest ones and needing that much ground, but that was the concession they were given, is they were given command of the police force, which, when all of the Achiha were wiped out, obviously the police force just kind of dissolved. And hypothetically, there were still some Uchiha in the Anbu. Of the entire Uchiha clan. Possibly? Oh, did the Anbu actually not exist yet? I Honestly, uh, they, I'm pretty sure they did because Itachi was Anbu at that point. Oh, you're right. Yes. Uh, Anbu existed uh, long before this time, I would say. And agonized. He was mired in terrible distress. Considered rationally. One could never raise his hand against fellow clansmen. But if the Uchiha coup d'etat were to go ahead, the village would crumble. Do you think the Uchiha would have won if they had actually launched their revolt? Itachi being a non-factor on either side. It could have easily no. The trigger for the fourth I don't Uchiha. think they could have taken the third Hokage. Hmm. The selfish act of the Uchiha clan but it surely would have the destabilized the village for, you know, one of their enemies to come in and start a war, so... Oh, for sure. So many people would be dead. Itachi made his decision. So Itachi's decision to take out the clan ends up being, like, the least of a lot of evils, but still really, 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 really bad. Do you think Itachi... Uh, I mean, do you think the Uchiha would have won? No, I, I think there were way too many Which led ninja that could have stopped them, like the third Hokage. Uh, uh, Kakashi's probably pretty powerful at this point. Um, oh, this, yeah. This is certainly after the fourth Hokage has died, because that happened when Naruto was born. Yeah. So Kakashi is um, in no. Anbu. I think Kakashi was actually a senpai in Anbu to... Itachi. Did I say the names right in that one? 
I think you did. I think I said Kakashi and Itachi in the right places. <laughs> I think you did say a senpai to uh, Kakashi. No, oh my god, I fucked it up. <laughs> it's over, I'm moving on. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, there's the third Hokage, and, I mean, if Jiraiya comes in, they're, you know, they're done for. But then there's mm-hmm. Donzo, who is going to do anything and everything in his power to protect the village. Yeah, but he's not shit at that point. Sure he is. Really? Yes. He, at the very least, has Shisui's uh, Sharingan, which has the most powerful genjutsu in the entire world. Except for a single mistake. Yeah, but it's not charged yet. Potentially. I don't really know. I don't know how much Donzo has going on. I don't know if he's got the, the, the arm eyes and the, the first Hokage cells trademark going on. <laughs> he would have the first Hokage cells, and I don't think he would have access to that specific Genjutsu you're talking about. And he, we know that he got the eyes along his arm from the massacre by looting bodies. This is correct. Yeah, of course he wouldn't have those. Yeah. And so it's really just down to the third Hokage and people like the like handful of people that would be on Kakashi's level. Like, um, like Guy is pretty fucking up there. And he's specifically very good at fighting against people with Sharingan. Although he might not be at this point, because if this happens when... Sasuke is five or six, then Kakashi's probably been in Anbu for almost all of this time. Mm. There's no telling if he's even really met Guy at this point. That's why. I think they were childhood friends, but I'm not 100% sure. Or at the very least, they're not like rivals and fighting and training against each other quite yet. Yeah, that's true. It's probably not consistent enough for that to be the case. If Itachi really had wanted to kill you, you would most certainly be dead. This is true. That's so true. That is 100% true. And Itachi had a reason to pressure you. There are not many people in this world that Itachi could not defeat. Sadly, uh, the man in the mask here is one of them. Mm-hmm. It would be a pretty close battle, I'll give him that, though. Itachi arranged everything about that. Especially if Itachi's, like, in his prime, no sickness or anything. Yeah, I was gonna say, the uh, the Itachi who has anime illness uh, could not do it, but the Itachi who just got off of uh, killing a bunch of people probably could. I was not kidding when I said this is 20 minutes, by the way. Oh yeah, no, we're still going. It's been a bit longer because I'm advancing the text boxes a bit slowly, but I can't hear when the speaking ends very well. I think my favorite part about Itachi's whole double, triple agent thing is that Kisame is in on the whole thing, and Kisame doesn't fucking care. Kisame only cares about people telling him the truth, and Itachi was honest with him from the start. So Kisame is just like, yeah, go for it. I don't care. <laughs> That's actually rad. I didn't know Kisame knew. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah, why do you think Kisame was blue? I, th- I, I thought that was because he was a shark. Uh... <laughs> what do, do you think Kisame was okay with Itachi just going off to do this? I mean, he probably would be just because he respects Itachi, but I'm pretty sure he knew what Itachi was all about, at least in some form. Your eyes didn't yeah. See Itachi at all. Itachi killed his friends, his superiors, his lover, his father, and his mother. Oh yeah, Itachi had a girlfriend who I have no idea who her name is. But his little brother alone. It's, I, she's barely mentioned. I... Not even sure if she actually even has a name. She does, but I don't know it. Uh, her death is honestly one of the most profoundly fucked up in the entire series. Mm-hmm. Some real fridge horror shit. But he just couldn't bring himself to kill you. I'm pretty sure his girlfriend is also an Uchiha, which is an entirely different discussion that we're not going to get into. understand what that means? I'll get into that anytime. <laughs> to him. Your life was more precious than even the village. 
and Sasuke has finally come to accept it, and his mind is broke. Mm-hmm. He just, mm-hmm. it just, it's too much. No, even after he died. No amount of super glue is going to put that one back together. <laughs> no. He achieved revenge against the Uchiha clan by making you out to be the Leafs' hero. Again, this is Itachi's plan the whole time, but there were so many ways in which this would not turn out how Itachi wanted, not least of which was Orochimaru. So, here's the other part about this plan, is that I don't know how they're going to explain to and make the Leaf accept that Itachi was acting on the interests of the Leaf through covert orders, after having all of this bullshit about him being on the Akatsuki and all this other stuff that would have to come out, like, now. So, like, he's dead, so there are no consequences for uh, telling the truth, except for the part where the government really fucked up. Itachi's plan was to have Sasuke kill Itachi to become a hero without his secret being revealed. He never wanted anyone to know that he was acting on orders. Right. But like, how do you how do you let Sasuke back into the village? Is the question, right? Because Sasuke's life is permanently fucked if he can't be acquitted or cleared in some way, which would require outing Itachi's everything. Yeah. So Itachi's entire plan hinged on Sasuke staying in the village and forming those bonds, and 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 not going off to Orochimaru. Which is why mm. my point about him telling Sasuke, "You need more hate." And all of that is dumb. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. 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 Completely. I'm with you now. <laughs> completely opposite to that. Yeah. <laughs> I've never thought about it like that. I've just never connected those two pieces in particular. That's always been separate in my mind. I've always been like, yeah, it makes sense that Itachi would want his younger brother to hate him, even though he doesn't actually want that. You know, just to to make the burden a little easier. Yeah. No, but... his entire plan hinges on. Sasuke remaining in the good graces of the leave. Yeah, staying a staying in the village because that's what Itachi wanted. He wanted the village to stay prosperous, and he wants Sasuke to change clothes again. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, he's one for two, uh, which is a failing grade. And all three of them are V's. <laughs> What's wrong, Sasuke? Where's that on the letter grade? That's kind of oh my god, that is so far below F. Sorry. <laughs> I'm pulling up a calculator right now, actually. <laughs> All right, so an F is a uh, over here in America at least. It's a uh, fifty out of a hundred. Sorry, Sasuke. It's the sixth letter of the alphabet. Okay, so if uh, fifty. Over a hundred equals that. Uh, um. So to make up for it, I have to piggyback you, man. Hey, big brother, you're gonna help me with my training next time for real, right? I will. What the fuck? Notepad has tabs now. We're not gonna have. Sorry, that's completely unrelated. I'm just, I'm genuinely <laughs> shocked. I haven't used normal Notepad in years. I use Notepad plus plus, but I probably got into that because of the. A little bit of programming that I did in college when I was doing computer science. So, yeah, someone's fucking ritzy. Show off more, why don't you? Oh, I have Notepad plus <laughs> plus. All right, dude, relax. Sorry. And here's what Itachi said back then. This is it. I think what Itachi actually says in the original Japanese is, Sorry, Sasuke, this is the last time. Mm. Which is much more meaningful and impactful, I think. Mm -hmm. And so Sasuke, free of Orochimaru's influence, is shedding, for lack of a better word, the, the, the skin of the snake and taking up a new name. We have shed the skin of the snake. Yeah, yeah, see, there he said it. Exactly that. <laughs> From this day on, our team will be the hawk. We are the Taka. When we saw this scene of them choosing the name Hebi earlier, that I'm pretty sure there was a hawk flying around. We exist. Hmm. Which is very nice symbolism. 
Oh, you're right. You actually commented on that. Mm -hmm. And Sasuke now has uh, the Mangekio Sharingan with one of the weirdest designs, in all honesty. Yeah, I don't particularly care for it. And that's all from Sasuke until that bonus story that I keep mentioning. It was a sad voice. I don't know how far we'll get into this voice. next chapter. Almost certainly and not going to be able to complete the chapter before I run out of time, because I do have to stop at a very specific time today. Oh, I see. So uh, maybe I'll get up to right before the boss fight, and we'll continue next time from the boss fight. Mm -hmm. now the Depends on how long it takes to get there. The revenge of truth. Maybe I'll stop before the boss fight anyway, because Morning I don't think I want to do everything in like after the boss fight. The tale of a new takes a while, Uchiha. and I don't think I want all of that to be the start of the next Begins part, now. because for reasons, it's pretty depressing. <laughs> that makes sense to me. And I don't want that to be the start of a part, so maybe I'll, I'll call things right before the boss fight. And we'll start with that and have a more interesting start next time. Sure, and that works. That was a lot of discussion for me deciding where to stop this video. It's okay. It doesn't have to be there in post. It, it will be. <laughs> I'm, I'm, fine. I'm fine with it being left in. Also, we got three loading screens again. Pneumonia Central. <laughs> Like, what the fuck? What do you mean it is always raining? It is always raining, and pain specifically can sense anything that the rain touches. Yeah, like, no, the mechanical reason is sick. But also, <laughs> I'm sick. I've got pneumonia. <laughs> the time is ripe. I'm also peaking the audio hardcore. <laughs> What about the nine tails? Uh, I've also realized um, I, I can't actually figure out where V would be on the letter grade because I realized that if F is 50 points, um, the the scaling doesn't actually work. V would be like negative 170 in a letter grade. Yeah, for sure. Also, I had a lot of classes where an F was a 70. What the hell? Oh, bell curves, yeah. Some teachers are assholes. It won't be easy. If you if you <laughs> yeah. if you pass this class, you have failed. <laughs> if you fail this class, you have double failed. <laughs> Pain has never lost. Yeah, the the number number to letter grades were uh, very different between a lot of different professors in college, which is not something I'm fond of. I wish things could stay consistent. In, in some classes, they did it pass fail. In some classes, they did it so if you got better than a 60, you passed, and the number grades went up from there. Some classes, a 70 was a fail, like I said, or anything below 70. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Bell curves are generally a very fair grading system, but sometimes you have outliers where someone is just popping the fuck off, and it makes it so hard for everyone else. Hmm. Unusual information? That was uh, a big problem in computer science because you had quite a lot of people that had done their own work for years leading up to that point, and so they knew everything already. Mm -hmm. And then people like me who had not done any of that and had no idea what anyone was talking about. Mm -hmm. Also, hi, Payne. Hi, Conan. You're both incredibly pretty. I, 10 out of 10, would smooch. The Hidden Rain Village. The Hidden Rain Village. Right, the head of the Akatsuki is I, I don't know, I can see the rain pretty easily. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why the direct the translation is village hidden in the rain. This won't be mm -hmm. easy. Yeah, but that's, that's a mouthful. <laughs> that's a mouthful, so they just kind of say both sometimes. Mm -hmm. And that's why fanfiction is absolutely fucking hilarious. No, no it's too dangerous. Hey, relax, will you? If I recall correctly... By the way, check out the mission reports on Tsunade's desk with all of the different mission ranks. Mm -hmm. uh, if I recall correctly, this conversation actually takes place on a random bench. 
in the village. Tsunade is just kind of relaxing on a bench, and Jiraiya pops up like, Yeah, I got some news about the leader of Akatsuki. I'm going by. Are you okay? With the info we need. Great place to discuss that kind of information, also. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I'm sure there's a jutsu that helps, like, obscure audio. I, I guess that would literally be a genjutsu. That's that's quite literally the function. Yeah. Are you gonna cry? Aw, that makes my day. Hush, you fool. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I found out uh, just a few days ago while I was looking at some voice actor trivia for a different game that the voice actress for uh, Kuranai and also Tsunade in the games... Uh, Mary Elizabeth McGlynn is married to Steve Bloom, who voices Orochimaru. What the I fuck? That's a crazy... Yeah, okay. <laughs> you said Mary Elizabeth Glynn, and I was like, oh, is married to... Oh, nope, never mind, that was the name. And then you said, is married to again, and I was like, whoa, that did go there. Yeah. Yep, I was looking that up because I got a voice actor's name wrong in the Platinum video that I recorded a few days ago. Uh, I thought that someone was voiced by Steve Bloom when it was actually... Uh, fuck, I can't remember the correct name. Whoa, that is a long name. Okay. <laughs> Liam O'Brien was the name I was thinking of. And this award goes to... Fuck, I can't remember the name. <laughs> I guess that means I go to Tenshi Bridge first. Now, the way into the Hidden Rain Village is nowhere near Tenshi Bridge in reality, but in terms of the game, it gives us somewhere in this game world that we know where it is to aim for. Yes. Hi, Tintin. Hmm. Actually, Jiraiya doesn't use a lot of weapons. No, he kind of uses his hair. You're right. No, I'm not talking to Kiba. <laughs> He's a teenager, come on. It's not totally his fault. I'll talk to Choji. Probably give him food, like just pay for a meal or something. Hey, do you want to talk to anyone on this bridge? I could talk to someone on the bridge. Yeah, just anyone. Oh, there's Shino. I don't think toads and insects would mix well together, my dude. I think you would end up with all the insects being eaten. And Sakura gets ignored just like in canon. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, I think you could probably ar arrange for something with that. Like, not all insects- I mean, insects eat each other, you know? It's, it's not that crazy. So I was holding the control stick in one direction, uh, mm -hmm. because like I mentioned before, when the the scene switches like all of these rooms if you hold the control stick in the same direction they keep running in that in in, in a straight line mm -hmm. if it moves ever so slightly they will immediately turn and start running in the new direction and that's what happened back there that makes sense mm -hmm. you think if you break enough of these logs a kokiri will come out <laughs> yeah haha, you found me <laughs> sure I've come around here with Naruto Jirai <laughs> 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 Maybe I'll take a little side trip. It's not like we're on the clock or anything, Jiraiya. <laughs> I well, we're not. I didn't punch in. Did you punch in? <laughs> You're getting paid. That's crazy. <laughs> this takes me back. Ah, jeez, why are these flags sticking out of my back? <laughs> This is the game's way of giving you a chance to play as Jiraiya before the boss fights. Oh. The training was long, but the end is in sight now. You did well to make it through without giving up. Huh. The words give up don't exist in my world. Except to say that I don't give up. <laughs> no, that's not true. He just heard static come out of his own mouth. <laughs> in that case, he has a long-term genjutsu. It's one of the only ones he ever learned. <laughs> Today's training? Yes, it isn't anything complicated. It's, it's been so long since we've heard Naruto's voice, it sounds weird. I was actually just thinking that it's it's kind of weird to hear Naruto right now. <laughs> what I've got, huh? This time though, 
I'll be fighting for real, too. Expect to be knocked down easily unless you use all your power. Ha! You too, Pervy Sage. Don't get scared when you see what I've really got. That a boy. All right, then. Let's go. He just holds up the manifesto. Or that's, not, that's not what it's fucking called. Um, the manuscript for Jiraiya's next plot in like a lighter in one hand. <laughs> I'm winning one way or the other. It's sad how many people in this world that that would defeat. Not even just in the Lee Village. There's other pe plenty in other villages that would also lose to that. Oh, cool! They did, they put a sepia over it. Yeah, because because this is still during the flashback. I just I need an edit of Naruto, like the entire original series, but sometimes it just cuts in a flashback from an unrelated time completely. It's just an, a Naruto's ADHD simulator. <laughs> Sometimes he just thinks about that one time where not where Sasuke was actually hiding in the shadow of the windmill shadow shuriken. I did find an edit of the anime that removed a lot of the excessive flashbacks and filler and stuff like that. That uh, I watched through some of it and kind of dropped off because the picture quality and editing in a lot of places wasn't that great, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Man, Jiraiya really punted Naruto. He did say he was going all out. That was a fucking field goal for sure. Okay, so that's number 77 at 670,000 points. Sorry, 760,000. Can you say it again? No. Alternatively, it again. Oh, I've been <laughs> defeated in the marketplace of jokes. Points, but he's that is stronger. not a great angle for Naruto's face. Like horses, he's never meant to be seen from straight ahead. <laughs> not yet. I'm not done yet. And just like horses, there is no safe way to approach a Naruto. <laughs> you ever think about how many D-rank missions this guy could be getting done all the time? Like, he should be loaded. Who, Naruto? Yeah. Because of the clones? Because of the clones! Yeah, see, the problem with that is the clones still have a personality, and they would be too bored to do the missions. <laughs> That's why he's got to practice self-discipline. So he can make money. <laughs> Truly, capitalism is the end game of my magical Naruto... My bad, my magical ninja series. What are you laughing for? I guess it's also my magical Naruto series. I'm pretty sure there was one fan fiction I read where uh, Naruto was in a relationship with probably Hinata, if I had to guess, and they were hanging out, and suddenly another Naruto walks into the room and is like, hey, what are you doing here? And the Naruto that had been hanging out with Hinata was a clone, that it was meant to be training, but got bored and went to go hang out with Hinata what? instead. That's actually hilarious. Also mood. I would rather hang out with Hinata than train as well. Yeah, but you gotta do both if you want to hang out with someone as cool as Hinata. Fair, yeah. I could probably make it into Akimichi clan. His I think you could, yeah. Such is the grim reality of uh, <laughs> needing to exercise in general. I swear. This is the first inkling of Naruto's heritage that we get. In case no one has figured that one out. I guess uh, Kakashi has had a couple times where he looked at Naruto and was like, is that the fourth Hokage? Like, uh, after, the, after the Razen Shuriken, or during the training of it, there was a point where that happened. I... I love any piece of fanfiction where Jiraiya is like, yeah, it just makes sense, given your heritage. And then, like, he doesn't think about the fact that he just said that, and then someone else is like, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> what do you mean? That's a very specific technique. <laughs> oh. 
there's uh, this thing. Record of Battle 35. I don't know what battle that is, but that's okay. Huh. Wait, where do I think I'm going? Wow, they actually recorded a voice line for that. It's kind of nuts. Yeah, presumably they just kind of like blanket reported one for everyone? Question mark? Hmm. How often do you think bridges need to be rebuilt in the Naruto world? I don't know. Now then. I don't think there's a lot of them that are as complicated as this one, though. Begins here. Mm. Bridge building is pretty important, though. I am now become frog. Hang on, shut the fuck up. I gotta focus. I'm shifting into frog mode. <laughs> Let's. What is it, Pain? Someone is obstructing my reign. The feel of this chakra. He's an There's a guy not using an umbrella. What should we do? <laughs> you shouldn't even need to ask. All who hinder me shall be wiped out. There is nothing else. Then... Right. I'll go make the preparations. I leave the rest up to you, Conan. Of course. Little bobblehead-looking talking ass. <laughs> right. Infiltration complete. Right, because no one saw that. No one saw that, and everyone who infiltrates says infiltration complete. <laughs> I can't help but remember taking a page kids. straight out of Flan's book. That was back during Nin -nin. the second great ninja war, when there was still no end in sight. Tsunade and I and Orochimaru, we fought against the Hidden Rain Village, and that's where I met them. Those three. Yahiko. He looks a lot like Jugo in that shot. He does, yeah. Which is almost certainly because of the orange hair. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, maybe. And Nagato. Oh, buddy, what's wrong? Orphaned by the war. Oh, that's what's wrong. Yeah. I felt sorry for them. And he's got. So I decided to look at. What is that on his back? Is that a diver's helmet? Feet. I think it's a pot. It might just be. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's just a pot with a cork. The same room Holy room. shit! <laughs> peace together. Even in the hidden rain, where the shadow of war still fell, those kids grew strong and sturdy. I don't recall how long Jiraiya stayed here with these three, but I don't imagine it was too long. Because this is like obviously not Jiraiya's home, and he's got to get back home, or he'd be declared a missing ninja. I don't know, but they all became apprentices under him, didn't they? To a certain extent, yeah. There's an entire period where he's still working directly, like, with and for the Leaf, and has these kids under him. Mm-hmm. They never come back to the Leaf Village with him, but he does train them for a while. Like, there's even a shot of all four of them wearing, like, the green frog costumes as part of the training. Oh, really? I mm -hmm. I thought they did go back to the Leaf, but I guess not then. No, they never came back to the Leaf Village. They stayed here in the, in the rain. This is no time to get lost in memory. The forever rain. The forever rain, yes. Which presumably was just kind of a natural thing before Pain took over and, you know, could control it. Presumably before then it was just kind of it rained a lot. And with Pain, it's like it rains all the time a lot. <laughs> yeah. Surely the Hidden Leaf Village has got it so fucking good. It's got like the perfect climate like you're surrounded by trees so I mean it gets a little humid and warm but other than that yeah but the dirt is also probably pretty cool Peddler Uchiha back at it again so I thought Jiraiya was the only one that could get in here <laughs> yeah wait what the fuck maybe he is new Uchiha hang on this lore is unraveling wait look at that sign towards the bottom right Okay. With the Akatsuki clouds and what looks like the Renekon. Is that what it is? It just looks like a lemon. Oh my god, no wait, you're right. That is, like, specifically the Renekon. It sure is. 
Uh, Why? He's, he still doesn't have anything to buy, though. Can I turn anything in for the order list? Do I have any items that I can turn in for this? No, I sure fucking don't. Oh, well. <laughs> nah, dog. Fifth Okage didn't send ship or support. Nope, I guess not. How badly does Jiraiya stand out not wearing any of this? You can talk to these people? Yeah, you could speak to some of them. What do they have to say? Uh, probably not much. Also, this would, like, in any other game, absolutely be a stealth section. <laughs> like, this is 100% yeah. just a stealth warehouse. Uh, here it's just... well. Oh. Yep. I, honestly, I was getting box-pushing puzzle vibes. Yep. Just gonna, uh, grab this. Ninja wow, Scroll. it's like it's like Red Dead Redemption 2. What a detailed animation. Oh, he has a it's a strike through his headband, so he's a missing ninja. Oh. Which is not that surprising, all things considered. Mm-hmm. And they modeled two of these rooms. Oh my god. <laughs> that was the scariest thing in the world. I, I went to go scratch my neck and I turned the volume slider all the way up. Oh no. And so you were just yelling. I jump scared myself. Hmm. Uh, we might have time to do the boss fight because I've still got an hour before I have to go. I don't know. How confident are you in getting it in the first three tries? When did the rain stop? I don't think this is a fight where I would die, but it is a fight that has a mechanic that could be annoying and waste a lot of time. Mm. Voice. It's time for God's punishment to descend on the unworthy. We'll see how long it takes to get through this pre-boss fight thing and the following cutscenes. <laughs> this takes me. Back. Yeah, uh, hang on though. Uh, God singular? I was just thinking about you. However, I never thought we'd be reunited under these circumstances. Yes, God singular because pain is seen as a god by the people of Rain. Oh, that's right. Cool piercing. Really yeah. Since I last saw you. Hey, you related to a guy named Conan the Barbarian? No, actually, uh, she's related to Conan O'Brien, the show host. <laughs> As we all know, first names are what assign relation. That's why he's Sasuke of the Sasuke clan. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm Sasuke Sasuke, and this is my brother, Uchiha Sasuke. <laughs> so, funny story about me being a dumb kid. When I was younger, the first Conan that I heard of was Conan the Barbarian, so when I heard of Conan the talk show's host, I thought it was the same person. I also thought that when I was young, yeah. <laughs> I was like, That's, that feels like a weird spinoff, but sure, I mean, anything can happen. I mean, we had Space Ghost, the talk show. We sure did. <laughs> By God, did we ever. We are no longer on your side. Our wishes and ideas aren't what they were before, Jiraiya Sensei. Hmm. Jiraiya Sensei, huh? Why? Why did you stoop to working for the Akatsuki? They're not just working for the Akatsuki. They made Even the Akatsuki. The three of you, you were particularly kind-hearted. Spoilers, dude. Why are you... You don't know what we were like after that. What happened, what we thought, why we survived. Conan. In the end, you can't possibly understand us. You're just a remnant of our past. If you oppose the Akatsuki, it doesn't matter who you are. I will destroy you. Even if our time together was short back then, without a doubt, I was the master, and you three were my students. Yeah, that's how that usually works. The stronger one is typically the master. Except for Master Roshi. They always call him that, but he's weak as shit. As a master, I must settle it. For real, like, when Bulma gets the scouter working and, and checks their power levels, Master Roshi has a power level of 139. I don't know why that was so funny to me, but it truly was. <laughs> His power level is 139. And that just, I, I mean, I tweeted about this the other day, but just 
the way the scaling works for power levels has always been dumb, but I really feel like it would have been better if Toriyama had started a little bit higher on that scale when, when they got to Z. Because it means everything that happens in early Dragon Ball is like in the realm of less than 1,000, and it immediately just skyrockets exponentially after that. Mm -hmm. And I wish it didn't. <laughs> Because a guy, just a regular guy with a shotgun has a power level of five. Anyway, that's enough talking about that. That's enough talking about arbitrary numbers. <laughs> hey, let's get back to letter grades as equated to the rest of the alphabet. <laughs> Jirai is like, I'm so disappointed in you. I'm giving you a V for effort. How did you wake up guard that fast? God, her jutsu is so cool. I like that little pose Jiraiya does at the end of his grab. It does nothing, but it looks cool. That's kind of what he's all about. You're right. I like that the camera goes inside the wall, actually. Hey, Spar, I like you. Fair. I like you, too. Oh. <laughs> Wow, that is a slow-as-shit attack. The hair whip? It sure is. Uh, oh. And and that jutsu that she tried to do was definitely not safe, and I actually got a punish for once. Instead of just hitting random buttons. Minus fucking 60 frames on block. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Why is that even in the game? Artistic. Yeah, that's, that's pretty appropriate. Uh, Juko's a little bit late. He's kind of off-screen right now. <laughs> like, just a little bit. He's just always there, like the lingering will. <laughs> <laughs> lingering will, Turner. You lose. Oh my god, what a mod. <laughs> you are skilled, as always. Honestly, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep going through the boss fight, because we have plenty of time. What? Okay, if you say so. Your yeah. opponent is him. I'm okay with starting the next part with the, the, the aftermath of everything here. That'll be fine. Uh, we're probably going to have, if I had to guess, two more sessions after this. Okie dokie. So, I finally meet him then. Time to experience pain. He's here, just up ahead. It will probably be a fierce fight, but I can't just stay here. All right, guess I'll go. Now then, what will I be? Oh, I'm glad we get an auto save at least. Mm hmm. It's not too late to leave the entire village of the rain and go back to uh, do some supply missions in order to get, you know, uh, <laughs> some more support from the fifth Hokage. And Peddler Uchiha. And Peddler Uchiha. It's been a long time, Jiraiya Sensei. <gasps> Your... Your hair is fabulous! I knew it. There's no mistake. He's just as I last saw him. His <laughs> eyes are as they were... The then. piercing and everything. <laughs> He, uh, he looks a little different from the last pain that we saw, though. What's up with that? Yeah. It was when I'd been living for a few months. Oh, I think we actually get a shot of them much. wearing the frog costumes here in a second. Oh. In that era, the world had turned. At some point during all of this, I'm sure it shows up in one of the flashbacks. Mm hmm. Bandits and thieves were common. And not only adults, but even children were becoming victims. Yeah, that's what happens when you make child soldiers as the entire basis of your, you know, continent. <laughs> I was careful, but Nagato and the others distracted them and they were attacked by Chunin from the Hidden Rock. But... Those rock fuckers are always up to something. I found Fallen Rock Ninja, a wounded Yahiko, and... 
Nagato, a host to the Renegon. The Renegon is the most sublime eye, and was possessed by the Sage of Six Paths, said to be the first of all ninja. There's a lot to un unpack with that story. Thought to have been mm -hmm. Shout out to Storm 4. <laughs> That was an incredibly loaded sentence. <laughs> truly possessed the Rinnegan existed. I think Nagato is meant to have red hair? I think so. Yeah. Although maybe it is orange because Jiraiya doesn't bat an eye at the bright orange hair here. I think Nagato is supposed to have red and Pain has orange. Mm-hmm. Does that mean Yahiko's here too? Yahiko. Ah, there was such a fellow, wasn't there? Used to be. He died a long time ago. Just like Konan, you aren't who you used to be either, Nagato. What's wrong? Just what happened? Nothing. I could tell you, but you'd have to pay five ninety nine for the extra story DLC. Well, that sounds like a really inconvenient price. The fifth Hokage didn't send me shit. <laughs> there were too many deaths in this land. The pain forced me to grow up. Sensei. And my hair out. <laughs> But as I was mired in endless battle, I am no longer trapped within humanity. I have moved toward the divine. So the Renegon is another one of those. We made an extremely powerful thing that uh, doesn't make sense in the rest of the world, but it's okay because we only gave it to one guy, except five different guys end up having it. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> Who'd ever thought you'd learn to tell jokes? And calling yourself a god, no less. So th I think there is a reason that they all have orange hair, uh, because uh, I want to say it was because Yahiko had orange hair, and it's just the sentiment that Nagato is continuing onward because of that. I'm not real impressed with your growth, Nagato. You are a mere human. You could never understand me. What are you By the way, in case anyone's wondering, that the kanji that Jiraiya has on his head plate, forehead plate, is the kanji for oil. Hmm. Because he uses toad, toad oil in his jutsus. Well, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I don't need to keep it secret from you any longer. We gather the tail beast in order to develop new forbidden jutsu. Jutsu of such magnitude that each one could instantly destroy an entire nation. The weapons of forbidden Jutsu. That's insane. Why make such a weapon? I'm noticing all the other posters where you can see eyes. Because there's one towards the bottom right and there's one on the middle building as well. Oh, yeah. I'll give them to the warring countries. Of course. They will not fail to you. I was going to say, whatever happened to good old fashioned backstabbing, huh? <laughs> what happened to the individualized murders? The kanji on that sign in the background, I'm pretty sure is just shinobi, which is a little bit random. And all of humanity. It's like how when you see a McDonald's ad, it's supposed to make you want to eat a burger. Uh, they're just hoping to really drum up shinobi numbers. Mm. This fear would give rise to the end of warfare. Conflicts would cease. Call it subliminal the way it makes you want to eat at Subway. I, give make <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I just had to say it. It popped into my head and it would not leave. Yeah. You think that's your mission? And that's right. For I am a pacifist deity. I don't think that's true. Take any joke that far, and it's not funny. It looks like you've already come too far to turn back, doesn't it? Turning back was never an option. As a god, 
I will give pain to the world. That is all. Enough. I don't know, Jirai. You're kind of just doing a bunch of value judgments here. Maybe you should uh, think about it for a second. Uh, maybe nukes aren't that bad. <laughs> I never doubted that you'd use your power to protect your loved ones. But apparently I was wrong. There's no point in talking further. You are a poison to the world. I will take responsibility and destroy you. Jesus Christ, man. Mm -hmm. As your master. Conan, stand aside. I can handle this on my own. Yeah, this is kind of Understood. out of Conan's range in terms of ability. Mm -hmm. right. Let's begin. Uh, minor healing. Just sop off my health. And once again, snack time. Just guzzle a whole ton real quick. <laughs> Here I come, Sensei. His piercings are so dire. I truly cannot imagine taking those out at all. Mm hmm. No well, pain. the good news is they don't come out. Pain. Yeah, I, uh, you know. That's true. If you won't listen, I'll show you no mercy. Oh Jesus, it's the crab from Elden Ring. That thing is going to snipe me. Jiraiya versus Pain 1. Oh, that's a good sign. Mm-hmm. Alright, it blocks everything from the start. Oops, I wasn't moving. No matter what you do, it's useless. Useless? No, I can't make that joke here. <laughs> So the nice thing about the hair combo is it hits him a lot. Yeah. Actually, it is it is use running. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's kind of starting to suck though. I'm, I'm not happy about that attack. Uh, well, we find out more about that eventually, Z Blade Storm. But the piercings don't have anything to do with the uh, people involved being dead or alive. Why don't we end this? Go. I'm desperate. I pressed the wrong button. I'm glad that didn't penalize me. You have so much time for these. Wow. Okay, Jiraiya, I could do without the final kick, though. <laughs> A little bit too high on that one. But he's got it. Yeah, you, you do that over there, that's fine. This is what AoEs and F14 dungeons are like. It's like, <laughs> yeah, okay, man, you got it. <laughs> nope, he's about to attack. Yep, I saw that coming. I was a bit too late to react to that. Mm -hmm. One hit away from the Somebody trigger. Oh, I got damn it. Oh well. I have a plan. Buy me some time. Roger. That is not the voice I was expecting. <laughs> Is it over? 
Not bad. <gasps> Unfortunately for you, you've literally just been fighting summons the whole time. <laughs> I'm going to win this fight. Gamakin, go back. Yes, sir. Ooh, okay. That's a tough one. <laughs> So the piercings and metal rods and everything actually are what allow pain to control all of these bodies. Mm. They 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 act as beacons for his chakra in order to, contr to control them, which is why they're all over the bodies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ma'am, please lend me your strength. Jiraiya versus Pain too. Hey, if Jiraiya versus Pain was so good, how come? <laughs> so, uh, we have to take all three of them out at the same time. Oh. And this one guy decided he didn't want to be hurt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, this looks fun. Is this just his awakening mode? Uh, I think this is similar to his awakening, yeah. So obviously, when it comes to things like this, the best thing to do is try to get them all down to low health and then kill them all. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, sometimes that happens and you do a little bit more damage than expected. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think what it is is if you get them to low health, you can uh, do that to, to put them down permanently. Or sort of permanently. They get they get back up. It's a delay. Yeah, so I've got to make sure to get this guy down to low health and then do all of them back to back. Yeah, this is similar to his awakening mode, but it's not like... It, it's definitely empowered for the story. Mm -hmm. This is the thing that I said would be a little bit annoying for this fight, by the way. Yeah, that tracks. Oh, good opportunity, yeah. Uh, except this guy didn't get hit. Can I hit the other one before his timer goes out? I sure can. Ah, here you go. If this guy can get down to the ground? Nope. Unfortunate. Oh my god, you have to wait? Until they land. That's so sad. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that guy's at a good health. The problem is if I do the the landing from the, from the, AO, from the aerial combo, it is an AoE, yeah. I think this is a good chance. Yes, it got all three of them. Yep, yep. One. Two. And three. There we go. That's exactly what I was talking about earlier. Just naming your jutsu biggest sh uh, Rasengan. <laughs> Bigger boot. Oh my god. <laughs> but how? For a second I thought that the deer had the renege. Oh wait, does it have the renege on? Yes. Because oh. they are connected to that that path of pain. Oh, okay, do they all have the Renegon? on? Did that crab have the Renegon on too and I just didn't notice? Yes, and it actually shares a field of vision with Pain. He can see everything through the summon's eyes. That's gotta be so... Uh, what's the word? Disorienting. Uh-huh. And the frogs just kind of scream at him. I'd probably recoil if frogs screamed at me too. <laughs> he got me. You have that jutsu. Nagato.
Well, just good work, Jiraiya. Time to leave. Yeah, for sure. No matter how much pain befalls me. Ooh, I don't know if that was uh, the stream or if there was a bit of weird compression on that JPEG. Hmm. Farewell. Oh my god, it just drowns you? Nope. He was killed outside the Genjutsu. Ah. Uh. By this random sword that Jiraiya got from somewhere. It's done. Yeah, okay. That's the Rinnegan for you. Tough, huh? Sorry to summon you all the way out here. Make sure you rest up later. I'll but back to the hidden leaf village to what if I told you the fight's not over yet? Down, didn't you, Sensei? Oops. What? The strongest of all his forms. Mad durian flavor. <laughs> What a response to that question. Yeah. You mean pain still around? Yeah, I'm feeling a lot of pain right now, buddy. <laughs> you and me both. six paths of pain. Impossible. Six. There are six of them. Hey, look close. The three we just did in, are there two? What? Did he bring them back with jutsu or something? Revive three fellas that were assuredly dead? There's a jutsu for that? Yeah, we, we, uh... <laughs> mm, we, we've been over this one, yeah? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Pain. What are you? Pain. That name is an alias that denotes all six of us. Huh? That face... You're... Yahiko. Why are you... Weren't you dead? You see me in Yahiko's image. You really are his former teacher. Why? Why do you possess the Renegon? What are you talking about, Jiraiya boy? Another former student is also among them. Except he didn't used to have those pupils. What? It's been a long time. I think pupils was a weird word to use there. I think eyes would have done the job. Yeah. Especially because pupil is a synonym of student. Ah, uh, yeah, that's true. Or uh, he could have gone way out of his way and said sclera. <laughs> Yeah, they could see really, really well. I doubt the eyes of these new ones are fixed either. <laughs> I know that wasn't even really a joke, but <laughs> what's wrong? Fakes. If they had 2020 vision before, now they have like 120, 120 vision. <laughs> Jiraiya, that's really bad. <laughs> So the way this works in the original series is that Jiraiya burns the coded message into the back of the Grandpa Frog. Mm -hmm. But that was a bit complicated to animate, so he just tells it to him. Uh. You're right. I surrender. I'm joining your side now. No one ever really tries that in Naruto. 
a little bit too proud for that, I guess. Mm-hmm. My body cannot follow my will. I see. I want you two to run. I'll handle the rest of this alone. Hey, what are you saying? No. These aren't people you can handle by yourself. They're not doing a great job with you here, Fukusaku. I want you two to deliver the information about pain to Tsunade. If I went back without any information, she'd get real cranky. Jiraiya boy! <gasps> Don't worry. I'll be back at the Hidden Leaf Village myself before you know it. Jiraiya boy... Did that last attack? <sighs> I see. So that's how it is. But lad, there's no way you can handle them all by yourself. Ma, ah, let's go. Pa! Ah. Jiraiya boy has a point. Our top priority now should be getting that information to the Hidden Leaf Village. Okay, so they're not afraid of, like, being impartial. I guess there's probably, like, rules about taking a human back to the summon realm. Uh, well, I've never thought about that, but... Because, I mean, <laughs> there's nothing really against that. That's how, that's how Sasuke escaped uh, uh, Datara's blast earlier. He used a reverse summoning. I don't think he went to the summon realm, but he did use a summoning to escape. I don't think there's anything against taking people to the Summon Realm because Jiraiya has been there before. Hmm. Okay, yeah. See, that's the thing that I've always wondered about is that, like, I feel like this is a get-out-of-jail-free card so long as you're willing to, like, I don't know, just put a snake in your place or whatever. Mm -hmm. I feel like the reason that they don't do it here is Pain would be able to stop them in some way, or whatever sacrifice is needed to make that summoning isn't available. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just leave it to me. I'll be waiting to stuff you full of delicious food. Thanks. Now I can really fight with everything I've got. But yeah, realistically, that should be a way that Jirai can get out of this. Mm-hmm. Because they can, like, return easily with nothing, but to take a person along with them would be a different story, I would imagine. Presumably there's some kind of jutsu involved. It feels like it would be doable, but, I mean, uh, obviously Ryder's intent is going to create the situation that it needs to regardless. Yeah, of course. It's just always something that I, I think about in Naruto scenes uh, with people that have summoning jutsus like that. Like, it's one of the myriad ways, like, reverse summoning like what Sasuke did, it's one of the myriad ways that Orochimaru has gotten away before. <laughs> Z-Blade Storm is right, or Z-Blade Storm, I didn't notice there was an A in that name, sorry. Uh, that the summon worlds are actually physical locations in the world that can be traveled to, they are just unimaginably far away. Mm-hmm. Like teacher, like student. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they they probably could have done better to match the lip movements on that one. Ah. But the result won't change. You are finished here. Results can change as much as I want them to, as long as I've got the will to move forward without giving up. That's the will of the fire. I've decided. Let's see you change. Remember how I said the fight wasn't over yet? Mm hmm. Yeah, it's actually not over yet. No. Oh, wow. Fight. You're a very poor leader. Got it. Got it. it won't 
We can actually fight back quite a bit here. Yeah, that's actually sick. He's got this. He says it himself. Ignore the health bar. Yeah. I can't stay on my feet. And of course, the chakra bar is permanently empty. You did well to come this far. I'll give you that. But. Fading. Am I going to die? This is like the saddest part of the game. Am I? P probably the saddest part of all of Naruto, I think. Until I become Hokage, there's no way I'm gonna die! Naruto. Being smart means what you say. I'll remain a fool my entire life. That one gives me chills every time. It's a very good line. That's right. Naruto. You never gave up, no matter what. In that case... As your teacher. As your teacher, I... I must not give up. Donnie the fuck. <laughs> Just give up. Give up. Never make me. Love that shot. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's so raw. Yeah, by the way, we never got the result screen for the fight either. Huh? Yeah. Oh, nice. They mute the music. We definitely have 100% of our health left. It wouldn't be fair to judge you. One point off. <laughs> One point off. All right, that one's a bit late. Oh, that one's definitely not right. <laughs> now, who's that silhouette? I couldn't see it, but I think it was Jiraiya sitting down. Oh. These weird dreams I'm having. <laughs> Look, if anything's so, real. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad that all of this is in this subtitle style, so I don't have to advance the text boxes. Mm hmm So it can go with the timing that the writer imagines. Mm-hmm. tale was full of failure. I think that's how Storm 4 does it. They make everything automatic, which I think is a much better way to do it. <laughs> I genuinely was like, is he going to say that's how my life is? <laughs> It's not like I control anyone else's text boxes in real life. Rough.
And Naruto still doesn't know. Mm-hmm. meeting was such a random occurrence their first meeting laugh with you it was just Be with naruto you. was being taught by someone how to walk on water in the hot springs and jiraiya just happened to be nearby More than anything, that you'll yeah that's true my will <laughs> my place. admittedly if you want to find jiraiya the hot springs is probably a good place to look yeah get swallowed by like a giant fish coming in from off screen it's probably a good thing the one path he took out was the summoning one or they could just send a summon down to grab him what should I name the sequel I got one for you yeah. Boruto <laughs> Immediate cut to loading screen. Mm hmm. All oh, right, I have to advance these. Jiraiya of the legendary sun. Actually dead. Still, how long has it been since I've had to fight that hard? We must extol our former teacher's strength. I wanted with all my heart for the text box to just say, whoops. <laughs> right. What will you do now? Execute the orders from Madara. Then? Yes. As soon as we're ready, we'll go to the Hidden Leaf Village and capture the Nine Tails. Gallant as an adjective is really doing a lot of work for him, I gotta say. Yep. Not to completely uh, trash on the man post-mortem immediately, uh, but he was just kind of a terror to woman everywhere. Mm hmm And he did completely ignore Naruto for uh, 13 years. Mm-hmm. He did completely, uh, fuck up his, uh, student's childhood on multiple accounts. Yep, and as soon as I get to a save point, I'm gonna be calling it here before this starts, because I think getting back into where this is taking us is gonna be a great place to start next time, actually. That sounds good to me. So I'm going to... get just outside of this room even though it's going to give me an auto save here I'm going to get back to the actual save point you know hilariously alternatively if the path that he had taken out wasn't the summoning one and they retrieved Jiraiya's body we might have seen him again in the future yeah uh, very possibly but uh, that's all for today thank you so much everyone for watching and thank you to Nat and Nathan for the resubs uh, I think next weekend, if I end up streaming, I'm going to be starting a solo game. 
Neo has some stuff going on, so he is not able to continue Hollow Knight at the moment. So I'm going to be doing some solo streams in the meantime, but uh, we should be back in two weeks for more of this. Like I said, should be two sessions left before we finish Storm 2. So I hope you guys tune in next time, and we will see you all later. Bye-bye.